last exam. Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha has said that all is set and the ministry will prioritize giving COVID-19 vaccinations to examiners and teachers above the age of 58. Zakis Mwasame starts us off. Education CS Professor George Magoha led other officials in supervision of the ongoing KCSA exams in Nakuru and Kakamega counties today. Magoha revealed that the marking of 2020 KCSA exams will commence immediately after the last paper on Wednesday 21st April next week. But we shall start transporting them anytime next week because this process is going to go on. The Ministry of Education is preparing to administer COVID-19 vaccinations to all teachers who will be involved in the marking exercise while giving priority to those above the age of 58. The government of the Republic of Kenya has decided that we shall vaccinate as many of those that is possible, depending on the availability of the vaccines. I want to encourage teachers and also to thank those who are over 58, that if I was going to follow the order that 50, over 58 should go home, I should have been working from home. <laughs> because mine is 58 plus X. Professor Magoa reiterated the position that no student who was involved in exam malpractice will miss the results, but warned that the center managers and security officers who allowed the irregularities will pay heavily. Less than 20 children who cheated. Uh, we will give them their results, taking into account the effect of the cheating, but they will have a result, and it will not be a why. But having said so, the people who allowed that to happen will pay very heavily. Zakis Masame, NTV. On to an inspiring story now. Candidates with special needs defied all odds to perform well in the just-released KCPE exams. The highest scoring candidate with special needs, Brian Otundo, from Set Hill Academy, attained 420 marks, recording an improvement from last year. Gibson Kibet from Mount Elgon, who is physically challenged, scored 411 marks. The candidates credit their hard work and support from teachers and parents. Rose Wangoi has 